Hey friends, we're finally almost complete with this project in the barn. Um, so we started on this November of 2022, clearing this land. And uh, it's been a long and a lot of hours. I hate to see how many hours I've actually got in this, but it's finally starting to come together. We got uh, a couple cows in here. These are some heifers that are due to calf. This one here is, should be dropping any day now. So, um, we have one that was actually born. A little baby over there. Which, you know, it depends on the weather. This time of year, it's really not been that bad. Although we did have a, a ton of rain. And sometimes the rain is actually worse on them than the, than the, the coldness. But when you mix a little bit of chilly weather and wind and mud so since we're artificially breeding we kind of know when they're coming and when they're due there's my help there we got the lights installed at least it's nice and and lit up there's another little baby boy little calf so um, this section here kind of serves this little pasture over to the to the side and one of the things for us was that just having places to put and separate different animals when you need them and then we got some cow calf pairs here they are uh we wanted to separate them we just moved them today um the vets actually coming in the morning to preg check these make sure they're artificially bred and clip the calves the heifer calves get ready for a sale catalog some pictures on friday so it's kind of way it is kind of got it split so we can service multiple different pastures uh, with the barn and then as far as the working facility goes um we'll open up that gate and you can run them in that way um I actually made that back there just kind of a another paddock just something to hold you never know when you need to have a sick pen or a heifer's not bonding with a calf right so there behind the tub we just kind of made another area there that we can hold something and the beautiful wife day before valentine's day out here just forking up a little bit of the haylage and then we got the creep panels and they can fold out of the way depending upon if you got calves in here or not so um you can either always work cows that way into the tub or i was actually looking if you swing that back i mean you could actually you could actually push cows right here you know um only thing is is we will have to put some panels up to kind of block that alleyway but our cattle are pretty easy to work they're not they're not crazy um, when you need to run cattle from this side of the pen over down the chute, these two panels here are actually on hinges. Um, they'll actually close and meet in the middle to block this way off. And in just in case with all these different panels, if you get a calf or something does get out, um, we kind of isolated the barnyard. So it's all fenced in at the road with a gate. So even if something gets out, they don't necessarily get completely out um, their fence stand so yeah this is uh kind of the finished product we just got a couple gate latches we need to install um but yeah it's a bunch of work for sure i think it's worth it um there's no way we could afford to pay somebody to build all this so we did come in here and build a couple shells we'll probably put a whiteboard right here that way we can keep up with all the different breedings that we're doing and we got a whiteboard here not a whiteboard a regular shelf i should say um never can have enough shelving so still got a we got the platform here i still have to go in here and dig out and pour a little bit of a, a footer for the load bars for the scale to sit on um but yeah Pretty much done. We'll get to try it out tomorrow when the vet comes to preg check and do a little bit of clipping on them heifer calves. So we'll see.